Venezuelans trying to bring in aid are facing violent opposition from security forces. At least two people have been killed on the border with Brazil. Trucks and hundreds of opposition supporters have been targeted by Venezuelan troops who have used tear gas and live ammunition on the border with Colombia to stop the border from being breached. I hold the reins and I will continue and keep them in my hands and uphold them with this constitution as a bias and will govern and democratically, freely for the well-being of the majority of this nation. This is my commitment to you. Robert Valencia specialises in Latin American affairs and he joins us now via Skype from Rio de Janeiro. Robert, we've been hearing about what's been happening on both borders with Colombia and Brazil. How has this been playing out politically for both Maduro and, and Juan Guaido? Well, time is of the essence here. The opposition and the international community that is rallying, rallying behind Juan Guaido would like to see Maduro step down as soon as possible. Let's remember the uh, direct or rather the warning that the Trump administration alongside some Republican legislators said that today was the day that the military will relinquish power and will, or that they will sh or that they should leave Maduro uh, to his own devices. However, we haven't seen that yet. I mean, we've seen some uh, defectors uh, crossing the Colombia Venezuela border. But here we're seeing that uh, the Maduro is still in power, that the top brass of the military still supports Maduro. And we haven't seen the change that some of the opposition and the international community wants to see. So right now, what Maduro wants is to really uh, gain some time so that he could just stay in power, which is basically his ultimate goal. Robert, let me ask you a little bit more about the military. We did see some military defections today. Are we likely to see more? Of course, we, we definitely want to see more. I mean, and we're seeing a slow change. For example, we had Hugo Carvajal, who was the director of the national intelligence and military intelligence in Venezuela, and he tweeted his support uh, for Juan Guaido. Now, we're still seeing other people like Vladimir uh, Padrino and other people who are part of the top, um, the, the top military, the commanders, if you will. Now, uh, we haven't seen this yet, and there's a reason for, uh, for the fact that we haven't, the, the sanctions that the United States imposed on Venezuela haven't taken effect yet. Uh, so it, it's all about time. Now, the sanctions against uh, PDVSA, the state our own oil company, and the sanctions against some of the people who are surrounding Maduro might take uh, effect in the next two months. Some experts are saying that uh, we will not see a change in the government within the next uh, uh, three months or so. Robert, let me ask you about the deaths that we've been seeing, because there were, there were deaths on both sides um, of, of the country. And I'm curious about how this is playing out amongst the public. Uh, is the opposition gaining more support because of the crackdown by the military? Absolutely. I, I, I believe here in Brazil, for example, we have seen images in the state of Roraima, which is located uh, in the northern part of Brazil, and uh, some of the humanitarian aid that the Bolsonaro government is remain, it's still stalled in, uh, in the Venezuela-Brazil border. So obviously these images bring and beget more support for the opposition. Now what experts have said uh, so far, this is people that I have, uh, that have been able to consult, is that the opposition needs to keep gaining momentum. They need to make more announcements, more legislation proposals so that the international community will exert more power over Maduro. Now, I think ultimately what we all want and what the international community want is to see fair and free elections. I think that is the crux of the problem that we're seeing right now. However, it's not going to be easy. This is going to take more time. And this is exactly what Maduro is trying to do. He's trying to uh, save some time or gain more time in order for him to remain in power. But the, the point here is that Guaido, as the interim president, wants to call for free and fair elections. But it remains to be seen whether the, uh, whether the, uh, whether the government or the regime wants to see that happening. Robert, you said you don't see this reaching any kind of a resolution for several months, potentially. In your mind, what happens next? 
it, it is really hard to see. I think what we all want to we want to avoid definitely is more bloodshed. I think we're seeing uh, you know three casualties already. That's that's by far a lot. And what we're seeing in these protests in past years is that the number or the death toll amounts to a hundred or more. Um, I think what uh, everybody wants to avoid is it's bloodshed. I don't know if Maduro will go out will go out that easily. And I think that, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the crux of this problem is free and fair elections. Now, it'll be very hard to see uh, fair elections under Maduro's watch because um, this is really not happening. He has control over the uh, electoral college or the version of the electoral college in Venezuela. So uh, he's not going to go out uh, that easily as we think or Robert. as the international community wants to see. Yeah. Robert Valencia, a specialist in Latin American affairs. Thanks for being with us on Al Jazeera.